Hey everyone, what's going on? So today we're going to be refinishing this vintage maple dresser. It uh, has a lot of veneer damage and needs a lot of fixing up. So we're going to bring it back to life today. Uh, we're going to kind of give it a beachy feel, but not going too far overboard. So make sure you stick around and see how it turns out. Let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is some of the veneer repair. Uh, as I mentioned in the opening that the veneer on this was pretty bad at some spots. Uh, so for these drawers, I'm going to end up removing all of the veneer and I'm going to take it down to the wood under layer. Um, now, unfortunately, the you know a lot of times this veneer has kind of a middle layer to it here, as you'll see, and it doesn't always come off as easy as the top layer. Uh, sometimes if you're lucky, it does, but on this one it didn't, so I had to do a little bit more sanding. And I started off with uh, 40 grit sandpaper just to get some of the heaviness off and then worked my way up to a 150. And if you want to see uh, some more detail on the veneer repair and what we did with this piece, uh, I'll link a video up above that goes into a little bit more detail on veneer and veneer repair. And I'm going to go ahead and just sand this top down, sand that bondo down nice and smooth. And for this, I use just a 150 grit sandpaper. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stain the drawers. Now I wanted the just pure white, uh, but they were out of stock of that. But this Tinsmith Gray was very close uh, from the look at the boards uh, when it had the display board. So it was close enough that I figured I would try it. I wanted a weathered driftwood kind of look. So I figured this would kind of get us there. And when I was a little hesitant at first when we got the veneer off of the, these drawers, whether we wanted to keep it or not, there was a lot of wormholes and just the way the pieces were put together, it was a little up in the air, but I figured it would probably look really nice uh, with this stain on to make it look like a really beachy driftwood look. So we ended up keeping it and I'm glad we did. For this project we're going to be painting, we really wanted a beachy kind of a nautical look um, and I'm trying to be a good girl and use up paints that I have and not go buy new paints for projects right now until we've worked through our back stash of paint supply. So I have this color, it's Heirloom by Fusion Mineral Paints and it is, uh, I think it's about like, yeah, there we go, about that full. Um, so what we're going to do, that's not enough to paint this dresser even with the front being stained. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this with a little bit of, I have this white color, it's called casement. Um, and we're gonna mix this with this and get kind of a lighter blue. And hopefully that kind of looks really good with our beachy theme, we'll see. Um, but it'll use up my paint. So we're gonna do that and see how it turns out. And the nice thing with um, Fusion Mineral Paint is you can mix it and it does mix very well. So you don't have to be afraid of mixing. If you have a little bit of two different colors left and you think they'll be really nice together, you don't have to be afraid of mixing them. It will mix nicely and it still should paint pretty evenly. So let's mix this up and see what we get. And that's the inside of the jar. See, it's pretty well used. I think that should be enough for our project. So I don't want it to get too light, so I'm not gonna mix any more white in and we're gonna cross our fingers and hope it goes all the way. So, there you go.
first coat is dry and it's time to put a second coat on. All right, now that it's done drying, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick detail sanding. I'm not gonna go super heavy, but I wanna make sure I'm getting kind of the edges and the details and giving it some nice character. And for this, I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper. I'm going to go ahead and seal these drawers with furniture wax. I'm just using Miss Mustard Seeds furniture wax for this. There's different products you can use though. Um, you could even use a poly if you really wanted to, but uh, I really like the matte look of this and I didn't want it to look real shiny, so I figured that would look best. Then we're going to go ahead and put some of these glass knobs on, these antique style glass knobs from D. Lawless. And again, we're not sponsored by them or anything, but they have a great selection of knobs and all kinds of poles and things like that. Uh, they have a great selection to choose from. And we just figured that these glass knobs will give it a nice uh, kind of look that wasn't too overboard, that wasn't too over the top, just complemented it real nice. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you check out some of our other furniture makeover videos.